What's up everyone, I'm Matthew Monas and I've teamed up with HP to review the HP Pavilion Wave, a desktop computer that doesn't look like your traditional desktop. HP has created a PC that can blend in with your furniture, take up a little space, or go with your office decor. But does this fashion first design sacrifice performance? Well, let's find out. I really love how HP is trying something different by redesigning the traditional PC into an object that can blend in nicely with your home. At only 10 inches high, the Wave looks like a blend of a high-end Bluetooth speaker and a modern router. It has this nice soft touch cloth material around its triangular design and a single PC speaker that shoots sound upwards reflecting 360 degrees. On the front, you have a single USB 3.0 port and an audio jack. On the back, there's a power button SD card slot, USB 3.1 Type-C port, two more USB 3.0 ports, display port, HDMI port, gigabit ethernet jack, power connector, and a Kensington lock. This unit comes with an Intel i5-7400T processor, eight gigabytes of RAM, one 256 gigabyte NVMe SSD, one terabyte hard drive, and a wireless keyboard and mouse. Now, my suggestion is to max it out as much as possible since it's pretty tough to upgrade due to its small design. The included keyboard is a nice touch. It's wireless, rechargeable with a metal bottom and soft chiclet keys. The travel distance is good and while typing documents, I didn't find myself making any typos. The mouse is wireless too, but instead it uses AAA batteries, which are included in the box. So there's no monitor that comes with the Wave and that makes sense due to its price point, but I have hooked up the HP Envy 34 all-in-one, which has a widescreen QHD display. The Wave can be used with either two of them or one 4K monitor. Now I'm really digging the ultra wide look of the display. It immerses you when watching movies or playing games, and I feel it looks great next to the Wave. Speaking of great is the sound quality that's coming out of a computer this size. I was shocked at how nice it sounds for such a small computer. It's only using one speaker, which has been fine-tuned by Bang & Olufsen, so it's not stereo, but because it's using a reflector, you get a nice 360 degree field of sound no matter which direction you're sitting in. The audio is clear even at max volume with nice highs, mids, and a bit of bass. It's loud enough for a medium sized room, so great for listening to music and watching movies. There's hey, also Cortana. dual noise canceling microphones built in so you can what yell out to Cortana and ask it a question or install a webcam and the perform a video call. The capitals at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So how does it actually perform? Well, if you're a hardcore gamer, you're probably better off with one of HP's Omen desktops or gaming laptops since they all have dedicated GPUs, but the Wave can handle light gaming with older titles like CSGO, League of Legends, or even Minecraft. In fact, I tried playing Overwatch, it is doable, but you'll have to lower the settings to low and the resolution to 1368 by 768. I was able to get about 60 frames per second. However, I find the Wave best used for office work like Excel, writing documents, browsing the web, and watching content. In fact, watching movies and TV shows is what I mostly use it for. It has a super fast 256 gigabyte NVMe SSD that got insane read speeds of 3200 and write speeds of 1500. This means boot up times were in the seconds and loading applications were significantly faster than a traditional SSD. There's a second one terabyte hard drive as well and it's big enough to store your movies, TV shows and any documents you want backed up. Now, under my heat test, the HP Pavilion Wave performed extremely well. The CPUs only got as high as 65 degrees, which is really good for a computer this size. There was no thermal throttling either, and noise levels were very low. So, if you need a very quiet, well-cooled computer, this one will do the job. All right, so here's my closing thoughts. The HP Pavilion Wave is a fresh approach on PC design. It manages to offer enough performance to do work, consume media, and listen to music. Sure, you can argue that you can build your own PC for cheaper, but it's not gonna be as pretty, compact, or even portable. There's really something to be said about this design. It's perfect to blend in with your furniture or even your office decor, all while being versatile and powerful enough to meet the majority of your needs. So that wraps up my review of the HP Pavilion Wave. 
I want to know what you guys think of it in the comments below. And if you have one already, let me know what you like or dislike about it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video.